Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to 7th Street. Eat leg, you man-stealing slut! So we're all here to ask that burning question, why doesn't anyone reference this film? And today we're gonna explore that X-rated Muppets knockoff, Meet the Feebles. Meet the Feebles! Meet the Feebles! Oh boy, um, this is a movie you don't see a lot of reviews for, and there's probably good reason for that. Meet the Feebles is a really hard movie to describe and nearly impossible to review. The basic rundown of the plot is this Muppet-esque theater troupe called the Feebles are rehearsing for their next show with hopes of finding success and being picked up by a syndicated television show. But unlike Jim Henson's The Muppets, the bulk of this movie is about the Feebles' backstage lives, and uh, just like human rock stars, they indulge in that old sex, drugs, and rock and roll cliché. I'm hot, Fletch, but not the way you think. Now that's just the short and sweet rundown of the overall concept. Uh, this film is really a mesh of different subplots. The main subplot, if you can call it that, is about Heidi, a hippopotamus, and the star of the Feebles. After a rehearsal, Heidi is insulted by a pornographic director, Trevor the Rat, and complains to her boss-slash-lover Bletch, a walrus, who is actually having a secret relationship with Samantha the Cat. As you can imagine, this love triangle quickly spirals out of control, ending with Heidi going on a rampage with a machine gun. Some of the other subplots here are just as, if not more, ridiculous. You have Harry the bunny, who, after having a threesome with two groupies, starts to feel physically ill and assumes that he's contracted some sort of STD. After a visit to Dr. Quack, Harry is diagnosed with the big one. Health authorities, they want a list of your sexual partners. For the last 12 months. It can't be true! It can't be! I've taken precautions! Yep, that's right. Bunny AIDS. There's also my personal favorite subplot involving a heroin addicted frog who suffers from PTSD due to his time in Vietnam. There's a great scene where it's basically just the Russian roulette scene from The Deer Hunter, except with frog and bunny rabbit puppets. Did I mention that it's a musical? Cause it's a musical. Let me tell you about sodomy. Hey, you must think it very odd of me. But I enjoy the act of sodomy. Hey, you might call it off the So there's a lot going on here. More than I can just sit here and explain to you. It's really just an explosion of... What the fuck? Now for the best part. Meet the Feebles was written and directed by Peter Jackson. Yeah, you know, the guy who directed Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and the King Kong reboot. The guy who may very well be the most successful director of my generation. That guy. He directed Meet the Feebles. Peter Jackson's first three films were all R-rated, zany, grindhouse-type movies, but Meet the Feebles exists in a realm all of its own. I mean, I'd love to see the Joe Bob drive-in totals for this movie. Have you got any smack? Smack? Horse. Liquid sky. Skag. Snow. Coke. Crack. Methadone. Benzedrine. Pinky. Sand pad. 
Morning Glory, Nutmeg, Blue Minis, Aspen, Adas, Paracetamol, Vex Vapor Up! Not surprisingly, every person that I've ever met that's seen this movie doesn't like it. The few people that I've shown this movie to call it an awful, vile pile of garbage. And they're right. Then you're losing your clothes. Oh, that's beautiful. Right for God, my dear. Also not surprisingly, this is a really hard movie to get a good copy of. I had to get a bootleg copy at Crypticon Seattle. Part of me thinks that Peter Jackson or his managers don't really want this film out there. There must be something about a walrus puppet getting a blowjob from a cat that may affect his persona as being a great director. I guess it just goes to show that even if you make a film that's an awful, vile piece of garbage, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're an awful, vile, or garbagey director. Back in 1989, you would have never realized the star power behind the director of this film. I guess it's true what they say. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking back. Make the feebles! Make the feebles! I always laugh when people say, Inception, it was the craziest movie I've ever seen. I always tell them to check out Meet the Feebles. And after they're done figuring out what the fuck they're doing with their lives, I guarantee that they ask themselves, why doesn't anyone reference this film? Don't tell anyone. Let me do the show tonight. Okay, Harry. I want to go out with my reputation intact. <laughs>